welcome back to next lesson which is oracle access manager start and stop so uh, start and stop involves starting an identity in access management domain admin server as well as manage server so you start admin server and manage servers in the context of just oracle access manager or identity manager or so on if you also have integrated with this oracle access manager with internet directory or unified directory or microsoft active directory you might have to look at those directory server as well so how do you start and stop it can be done either using command line script which are part of weblogic server and what i mean by command line script from weblogic domain is which we looked at here earlier so you go to domain home and then go to bin folder so you go to domain home and bin folder and you have start and st stop scripts these are command line start and start stop scripts so you can use them or you can use weblogic scripting tool wlst so you can wlst you connect to the node manager but for wlst um you have to have the node manager configured properly the node manager should be up and running what is node manager we looked at briefly in oracle fusion middleware or you can also start and stop the managed server through weblogic console you can't start managed admin server from console because in order to access console admin server should already be up and running so you can start it command line admin server or using wlst and then later you can go to console and start the managed servers but for you to start the managed servers from console again node manager should be running what is node manager is the feature which it uses node manager machines in our consoles module we are going to look at what is a node manager and what is a machine then you can also start and stop using oracle fusion middleware control which is em enterprise manager another console that we are going to look at in console module so the only exception is with last two options you can't start admin server because that's how the admin server becomes visible only when the um, or the consoles will be visible only when the admin server is up and running so this is all about starting the services or stopping as i said earlier if you're starting from console or using weblogic scripting tool node manager should be configured running and reachable from the admin you can look at from administration server when we look at the console i'm going to do some exercise by default we have i don't think we have configured the node manager we can configure it later we, that we are going to do in consoles module then if you want to start then first is you need to make sure your database listener and database are up and running database listener and database so we'll, how do we start listener we say lsnr ctl start and then listener name this is database listener we also must start or set environment variable setting oracle home to the database and oracle sid again in your activity guide we have already created this environment variable or environment file all you need to do is run that environment variable then you start the listener and you connect to the database assist dba and start the database then you start the oid uh, if oid is already configured and integrated so you or we already covered in oid module you do opm and ctl start all and then you start the java components so you first start the admin server then you start the managed servers for oracle access manager or so as suite again already covered in your activity guide so make sure you do start and stop and practice this now you also then start oracle identity manager stop is other way uh, you first stop the java component so you stop the managed servers of oracle identity manager soa suite access manager and then you stop the admin server now you can stop the admin server without stopping managed uh, manage servers as well that's also possible but if you want to stop everything this is the order you pick soa and oracle identity manager can be picked up alternatively but oracle recommends to pick one after another one at a time access manager can be stopped and stopped in, in started and stopped independently then you stop the system component which is oid using opm and ctl stop all or if you have oud oud has a st different start and stop command so you use oud start and stop commands then you stop the database shut down the database and shut down the database listener or you stop the listener first and stop the database then 
this is all about stopping and starting then if you want to look at the log file i've already covered uh that in the admin server domain home server server name of the server and logs folder similarly for the managed server in their respective managed server log file for oid it will be inside oracle instance diagnostics logs opm and opm and for opm and i said to you earlier an opm an oid module opm and is the one which starts first so opm and first and then you have oid ldap processes for that oracle home instance diagnostic logs oid oid1 or oid2 so this is for oid you might have also have a managed server for oid which is for ods or or odsm then you will go to do again same thing domain home servers name of the managed server for oid which is wls underscore ods1 and then logs then you have oid odsmp or dip file this is what i was talking about just now so this completes start and stop make sure you go and do the activity guide for start and stop of oid so just to do a quick recap on what we covered in this module we looked at oracle access manager file system directory structure we looked at various domain or various homes also the main key files in oracle access manager which is oam config.xml we looked at how to see the version number of the file what is the file version of the uh, oracle access manager where do oracle access manager integration with ldap oracle access manager integration with oracle identity manager how do you start and stop services admin and manage servers and the order in which you start and so stop services and the log files so this is all about in uh, this module where we look at where we just looked at the important files and the start and stop script now head to the next lesson we are going to look at consoles and we are going to look at three main consoles which is weblogic console enterprise manager console and oracle access manager consoles i'm going to see you in next module